Hey guys, welcome back. So it's Jojo Day once again. About to dive into episode 32 of Diamond is Unbreakable. This one is July 15th, Thursday, part 2. So we just watched part 1 where Josuke and Okiyasu came across a guy living in an antenna. So it turns out that antenna was a stand and whoever went in couldn't get out again. Meanwhile, everyone is looking for Kira, including his father, no one knows where he is. Okay, so let's just dive into the episode. As you know, this is a Tama based reaction. I do have exclusive and early release content over on my Patreon. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one, go. This is like a four part event as well. That's right, this guy just knocked on the door. Kanoto. Somebody's coming to visit Rohan, but it's a, it's a trap. Nope. Yo, heaven's door. It's a good stand. Just check in. Hopefully I can overcharge him a little bit. Yeah, but a bit of a rip-off merchant. Well, that's weird. What a powerful stand. He can control whoever he wants. From the fire from a few episodes ago. No, you first. He doesn't want anybody looking at his back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You're odd. Don't look at my back. So, this guy. Oh, that's right, he's in a bit of trouble. Huh? What? It's a mask. It's a mask? Yeah, he's fucked. Who, who is he? Oh, they've come in. Repaired the wire. Go Josuke. You fool. But now... Who is under that mask? Hey, oh, he dodged them all. He's limbo. Shit, you just said you wouldn't fall, man. Crazy diamond, though.
Oh, not with the tongue. Come on, man. Yuck. I'm having cackle and flashbacks. Yuck. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you don't want to get the coronavirus. He's already cut up the tower. <coughs> oh, my throat today. How long has he been here for? Oh. Don't fall off. I love this show. Ooh, oh shit. Oh man. He's off. Nice work. Bleeding everywhere. I bet you we can. By the way, there's always a by the way. <laughs> And I've fixed the tower. Yep. Oh, in the face. No, you can't beat a Jojo. <laughs> oh no. To his death? Who was that? Why is he wearing a mask? He lives. What? Wow. Okay, it's all yours. Okay. Mario Landmark. Yes, yes there is, yes. Why? What?
Has that happened? I don't remember last week. Well, it was three weeks ago when I did my last reaction to JoJo. What's on his back? <laughs> I'm nervous. There's Kira. Is he ever going ever going to take this mask off again? Don't answer that. Don't tell me. It's just my thought process. I don't want any questions answered. Okay, his, his nails are getting longer. You like that girl's ear? He's okay. He's weird, but he's okay. It's funny, five minutes ago he was trying to kill Josuke. Now they're all friendly. And the time jumps, that's um, something to be aware of as well. Where's Koichi? I'm trying to remember what happened in the last one with, with Koichi. Oh, this guy. He's a mess. Be a decent person, come on. He's gonna heal you. Yes, suck it up. Once a cock, always a cock. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. He already did it. He's all better. Huh. <laughs> oh, God. What's a facelift? Groupies. You, you. My cute little kittens. <laughs> now everyone loves chocolate. Hmm. 
Yeah, my God. So they're all friends. I love how they're, they're mortal enemies in one episode and then they're mates in the next one. What is he doing? He's coming up the stairs. Like in The Exorcist, but the other way around. Why? <laughs> what is on his back? Oh, he's creepy. Me too. It's kind of like a come on, really. Can't he just use his stand on him so that he falls down unconscious and just flip him over? It's a thought. Where's Quechi? Why is he missing? He's like a bloodhound. The animation's so good in this series, man. Holy God. What? Who this? You stand years on. What? Yeah, you don't go after his mom. Well, mysterious. Mysterioso. Interesting. All right, so 7.37 a.m. What? I swallow my saliva all the time. See? What is going on with this guy? Hey, 
so we can sense people's fear. I love his look, it's creepy. I just loving the animation. How the He's making me swallow, I'm just aware of it now. Oh no. Oh I hate the tongue thing. Wow, look at that. What? So turning them into paper? Now I'm aware of my blinking. So he scares them to the point of passing out essentially and then folds them up. Just case fierce sign. I love his tie. Your stand's kind of creepy too, man. Son of a bitch. Is Koichi going to come flying out of that piece of paper? What a weird stand. So he scares people to see what their scare tell is. To see what their expression is or what they do when they're scared. He stand attacks and turns them into paper. When he just folds them up and carries them around in his pocket to pull out whenever he wants. Right? This show never fails to impress. Honest to God. Jeez. I am battling a bit of a sore throat at the moment. As you might have been able to tell. I know I kind of cough and clear my throat through all my videos, but uh... Yeah, she's extra annoying today. Okay, good episode, man. So we've got a new stand user, Mysterio. So is the name of the stand. We don't know much about him yet. He was created by Kira's father with the arrow. We assume Koichi's... Well, he's not dead, right? Because this guy also attacked Josuke's mom. And we saw what he could do. He just, he just folds him up as a bit of paper, then pulls him out again. So Koichi will be okay. But we just don't know how Josuke is going to save the day. So this is a full part of this Thursday the 15th thing. I'm intrigued by it all. I'm hoping we get some Kira action because he made quite an impression when he came out and devastated everyone, but he's kind of been very low-key since. So I want to see more Kira in the next couple episodes because I think he's an amazing character. And to kind of be working his way up to Dio's throne for me is going to be quite an achievement, but I think he could definitely get up there if we just get more of him. Okay, that's enough of that one. Let's dive into the next one. Catch you then. Thanks for watching.